<laughs> yep. All right. Silent. Although I don't see a, uh, let me just, that doesn't have a light. Yeah, but it's on. Okay. Welcome, Donna. Hi. Hi. We, so there was a new FDA black box labeling decision. Are you aware of that with hormones? I am. Yeah. Did, what, what do you know about that? This is a very big day for women's health. I am very excited about this. We have been campaigning for a really long time. There was a black box warning on estrogen that said it increases risk of cardiovascular disease, breast and endometrial, and cognitive dementia, possibly. That risk came from a 2003 WHI study, the Women's Health Initiative. Mm -hmm. That study was a huge study, and a thousand. A lot of women were 70 plus years old. They had been menopausal for 30 some years prior to starting hormones. Their arteries had already built up all this plaque. Mm -hmm. When they started taking the, the hormones, it started releasing the plaque, which is then causing DVTs and blood clots and strokes. We now know that it's been completely debunked and it is actually very beneficial, more than risk, of all of those things. Um, the, there are caveats. Right? Like it's not for everybody, um, but it does show that it helps with vasomotor symptoms, the hot flashes, the night sweats, the mood, the sleep, the skin, the joints. There's estrogen receptors on every cell of our body that benefit from estrogen. It helps cardiovascular disease. It does help 65% with cognitive mm. decline. It helps actually with colorectal cancer. Mm. So, so many benefits that are outweighing the risks that have been disproven. Okay, so who, who is the ideal candidate for hormone replacement therapy then? So hormone replacement is a great idea for people that are good candidates. However, we do suggest you start it within 10 years of menopause, based on that WHI say that we just talked about. Also less than 60 years old. So there's a big percentage of our population that we did them dirty. They are they're kind of outside that mm -hmm. that criteria at that point so they're non-hormonal options for them um, but if you're healthy you have no dvt blood clots risks no breast cancer um, there's there's a lot of benefit in starting starting hormones at an earlier age 